guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season two of Is the Order a Rabbit? It feels like the funny thing is, if I didn't take that break during Thanksgiving, we would have been done with this, like, well, we would have been done with season two last week. And then I probably would have had, like, either one or both of the OVAs out. Now, one thing I do want to say is, um, I know when I was, like, at season one, a lot of people told me to wait until the, until the end of season two to watch the OVAs. Okay, so I think I accidentally deleted the OVAs off of my computer completely. So I'm going to have to re-download them, and I'm going to try to watch them both between, um, Wednesday and Thursday, because tomorrow I'm going to be uber busy doing, uh, not only Patreon shows and, uh, one of my other shows that I'm going to watch, that I watch on Tuesdays, I gotta go somewhere early in the morning, and I'm like, ugh. But, uh, one thing I needed to know before we get started, how long are both, like, they say they're movies, so are they, like, like, an hour long, maybe, like, an hour and 30 minutes, because if it's, like, if they're both, like, an hour or an hour and 30 minutes, like, I think I can get the whole video, whole episode if it's, like, an hour. If it's an hour and 30 minutes, I'm gonna have to cut it in half and then do it together in one whole and yada, yada, yada. Finish. But just let me know. I just gotta know by at least Wednesday afternoon before I, uh, like, yeah, several hours before I watch the first OVA, or maybe I might wait until Thursday to watch them both, because I only have one show on Thursday. One show on Thursday versus four shows on a Wednesday. Mm, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> that would be nice if that's in season three. Dude, this is going to be the first, possibly the first episode where best girl, Blue Aoyama, <laughs> Aoyama Midori, <laughs> is not probably going to be in this episode. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't believe we're like literally at the end of the show. It feels like just yesterday. We started this show, and I was so freaking excited, because I was like, I've heard so many good things about this show, and I was like, I'm gonna watch it, I don't know when, but I'm gonna watch it, and I remember it was a must-watch for me, like, I think halfway through, um, Golden Mosaic, when I was almost done, and then I finished, and then my other channel got deleted, and I was like, okay, and then I kind of forgot about it, and then I remembered, and I was like, we're gonna finally watch it now, and I'm so excited I did, because I think if I would have waited until 2020, and then if it came along, I probably would have been like, yeah, I want to watch it, but then I would have been like, oh, what's sad about it is I can't watch it because it's the third season, and I would have to watch season one and season two, and I'm the typical type of person who does not like to watch a show when the newer season is out. I kind of like to say... Um, let me wait until the show's completely done and then try to watch it. That's just me. There's probably some other people like that too, but it's just a little old me. It's a cute little small thing. Kind of very quaint. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Do you, does he have a phone? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, is there a river nearby? I mean, you guys were near something. So basically, you're in the hands of Ronko and Uradaka. Th this is gonna go so well, guys! <laughs> I don't think you need that. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Mocha better come back I swear to god like it feels so weird to just talk about her and be like oh my god she's not here so hopefully either in the OVAs or in the third season she comes See, I don't know if I could fish. I'm not really good at fishing. Even though the funny thing is, I've never tried it. Ever. Oh! I think I'd be that one who's like, ends up getting nothing. Or like, a boot. Or something. <laughs> Seaweed. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Excuse me. Reel it in, pull it, pull it. Ah! Good job. Cody! Come here! And you took for another little one. I'm like... I don't think you want those mushrooms. What are you crying for, babe? Okay. Oh no, you're hot. 
that? Don't go for us. Hurry! Oh God, you're being pulled away, and nobody saw her. Oh my God, she's probably like so far away now. At least she got the hat, though. Okay, how far are you? Yeah, you're far, aren't you? Oh, for a second, I thought she was going to start crying. Tino, that's a very good question. Oh, she's not that far. <laughs> no, she needs help. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, these girls. Liz! Liz! <laughs> oh, thank god. You were collecting fish just to collect fish. See, I don't think that's you crying, Cody. I think that's something in the anime that makes it mine. But it sounds so similar to Cody, and I'm thinking, like, what's wrong? It sounds like birds or something. You know, you could have got hurt, though, right? You know what would have happened? But it would have been so upset. That's like me. Oh. That is like me when Co when Cody does something and I'm like, oh my god, like, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm your owner. I'm supposed to watch over you, silly. Yeah! You're so welcome, Gia. It's just all a part of the trip. You're supposed to be lazy.
This whole episode was just them going to the cabin. I mean, because we're literally almost done. We probably got, like, what, eight minutes left? Ten minutes left. Yeah, because you're slowly falling and I don't need you to get hurt. We having a dream about zombies. See, that's when you need the chainsaw. <laughs> See, everybody makes fun of people about getting ready for the zombie apocalypse. But, you know, when the zombie apocalypse comes, who's ready? The people who was all ready for it. Oh, poor baby. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Camping out, it's so cute. I thought they were all gonna sleep in the cabin, but <laughs> we fun. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you guys making smarts? By the way, like freaking Coco that turned around, she looks like freaking Anzu from I Don't Want to Girl. Oh my god, just imagine Anzu, I mean, uh, Coco with longer hair, but it picked up the really so cute, baby. Hmm, can I get down? Oh, ah. Here you go, baby. You'll be up all by yourself. Yeah, if you see if you had some graham crackers and some chocolate, girl. This girl bought a coffee maker and none of them gonna be able to go to sleep. That's the same thing. I just had Mountain Dew, and it's like now 10 o'clock at night. If I had to drink that Mountain Dew at like 12, oh, I probably wouldn't have been able to go to sleep tonight. It still baffles me that she gets drunk on coffee. Oh, you guys are spinning a little too. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Somebody is so gonna throw up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what? She is seriously. Oh, <laughs> can we not do that again? Like, please. <laughs> those remind me of those rides that spin around. Like, you have the floor, and the floor disappears, and you just go. 
This was honestly an episode of Laid Back Camp in a nutshell. <laughs> Except for <laughs> You know, I would really love if this cast met the cast of Laid Back Camp. Same thing with freaking Golden Mosaic. I mean, they did the freaking art with them. And I'm like, it would have made so much sense. That's why I kind of wish um, every show that the company, uh, the... the the Kita Fantasia game. I want them to make that into an anime. To have all these different characters from so many different animes. Some that I have seen, some that I haven't. All together. You have Isekai Corset, so you could do that with this. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, my baby. So cute. <laughs> I don't want no one to Chew? Uh, yeah, it seems so. No, I, I think you... Yeah. Really? Excuse me? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> They knew. They was like, hey, Deja misses her best girl. Here's her best girl. <laughs> Honestly, this was a really good episode. Like, like I said, it literally was laid back camp in a nutshell. But there are some things that are too <laughs> And some of it made me miss the show really bad. But it was so freaking cute. Oh my god. Yes, seeing my cute girls go camping gave me too many feels to the damn laid back camp show, which I miss so much. And I'm so happy like shorts are coming back in January. But I mean, it was so cute. I mean, like even having them like even though yes. They didn't have their food. They went out and they got their own food and they did everything. Even like the freaking dream sequence of Chino. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I don't think so. It, it, that was like the funniest part, you know, though. But you look so cute. Even her in her sleeping bag, like, oh my god, she gave me too many feels to Aizawa <laughs> for my hero. Oh. Honestly, it was a damn good episode. The 
kantongan nih. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so freaking cute. I mean, you know what? I honestly want to see like the last episode, maybe, but the uh, be like a Christmas episode. But I don't think it is. It would have been really funny if it was because I think the last episode, uh, the last one of the last two episodes of season one felt like a Christmas episode. But I was like, mm, it's not Christmas though. I mean, because like you know, we're in December. We're like two weeks away from Christmas. And most of the shows that I'm currently watching are kind of in their Christmas episode or they're going to have a Christmas episode because I know like Pretty Cure, um, their Christmas episode is coming up next week. I think I cut to one parades up, a uh, Christmas episode is coming somewhat. They're having like a competition first, which I'm really excited. But I mean, yeah, it was really adorable. I mean, I'm glad that they went camping. I'm not the type of girl who was like, yeah, let's go camping because here's the funny thing. I've never been camping before. I said that a lot during laid back camp. And I think I, at the, like at the beginning of episode one, I was like, this show is not going to get me to go camping. I was like, mark my words right here, right now. I'm not going camping. And by the time I finished the damn series, I was like, I kind of want to go camping. But I, I don't know. I don't think I would like not really around here because I don't think I don't really know anything about the woods here in Florida, especially in Jacksonville. But um if I could, like, I'm that type of person, I'm skeptical, because you never know what the hell you're going to find in the woods. So, I'm that type of person, because I, I remember <laughs> I was a teenager, and I was watching this show on um, E! It was, um, it, it's called Girls Next Door. And they did the camping, but instead of them doing it, like, outside, um, <laughs> like, in the woods, with, like, no help and everything, they were literally outside of the Playboy Mansion. And so they literally had everything still servicing them. And I'm the t I got, like, an idea from that. And I was like, look, we can go camping, and aka outside of the house, right outside of the house. You know, we're still somewhat, you know, we're outside, but I can still go inside to go use the restroom or go get something to eat or make something. If I want to make hot dogs, if I want to make s'mores, if I want to make whatever, I still have a fireplace out here. But if I want, like, something microwavable, like some popcorn, I can microwave some popcorn. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, that's such a smart idea. And my parents looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, but no, look, they did it! It's fine! I was like, come on, think about that. I was like, look, I'm the type of chick. Look at me. <laughs> I'm black. I don't do that. <laughs> I've met some black people who have gone out and gone camping, and I ha I've had friends who have done it, and I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, was it the best experience ever for you? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay. I don't want to camp. But like, I mean, yeah, I, I think, you know, if I really wanted to do it, I would literally have to say, like, I would either take a friend or a family member or just like a group of friends. And just hang out and just do things. I still would be scared, though. I'd be a little skeptical because I've seen things. I've seen movies. I've seen TV shows. So I'm like, I, I really don't know <laughs> how I would 100% feel after. But I think it would be one of those experiences saying, like, hey, you know, you never know what could happen in life. Just try it to try it. And then just be like, it was either a good or bad experience. Would I ever try it again? Probably not. I'd probably be like, I'm one and done, <laughs> you know. I wanted to rough it out for one day. <laughs> no, not for me. But yeah, I think it was really sweet. I do like the fact is that they got to see the stars. That was like the most prettiest thing about this freaking episode. And it makes you wonder like if they possibly were going to uh, be in the cabin that night. With the way the cabin looks like, especially with the top of the roofing and everything, I don't think it had like a window where you can literally like see outside. Like you know how... um when you're playing uh, The Sims or something, and, uh, yeah, especially when you're playing The Sims, and you make a house and, like, you can see, especially at nighttime, you can see, like, the stars and everything. I love houses in The Sims that will literally have a window up on the roof, so you could literally look out to the sky and everything. It's just so freaking beautiful, and I've always wanted to, and it's not, like, my lifelong dream. It's just something that I really want to do, and maybe one day I'll be able to do it, where... If I go somewhere and it's like shooting stars and everything, or you can just see nothing but stars everywhere. If it's a house, um, not even an apartment building, but like maybe a house or a hotel that has like 
where you can lay on a bed. <laughs> you could just look up at the stars. That would be the best day ever for me. The best night. Whatever. I mean, come on. Like, you and the stars. And you just looking up at the sky and seeing how beautiful it looks. And taking pictures and everything. It's something I want to do. It seems so really freaking nice. Like, mm. I would love to do that. Okay, but <laughs> yeah, it was still a really good episode. But other than that, pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. See how this show ends. Oh, it's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. That's Koba. That's you, dummy. You honestly look like your sister. <laughs> yeah, she looks like Mocha. See, you know, you probably know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Even after, you can still work at the cafe. But she can be a professional photographer. I mean, Chino. Pictures by Chino. Like, yes, let's get it. Oh, my God. My child. I would buy some pictures by my child. Like, oh, my God. Could you imagine her just traveling around the world? Oh my god, and taking pictures. That's what they need to do. If this show gets another season after season three, let's flash forward to the future in one episode and we just see my baby taking pictures. And we're like, yes, Gino, you made it, baby. Oh my god. Congratulations. That was so awesome. And then, like, we see Aoyama doing very good, very, very well in her books, even though she already is, in a way. But still. It would be nice. I'm just saying. I still kind of want, like, well, in a way, we kind of got a past episode for Aoyama, but not really. So maybe season three. It was just more talking, but not that much. Oh my god, you know what they could do? She could really make a photo book for the uh, the cafe and she could literally sell them for money. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna put you back down, baby. Act natural. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Tippy. And she, of course. Of all of you.
do you want to make a photo album? <laughs> I, I think she wants to make a photo album. What is it? A map? Of course. Invite Mocha. But no, no, no. Aoyama. Aoyama. Wait, this is the last freaking episode. It cannot be an episode without my best girl. Yama screwed me over last time, but she didn't. That is actually so smart. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> but he says someone <laughs> coffee. I don't know why, but the way this looks, in a way, it seems like before Maya and Megu met, you know, her world was sort of like black and white. And the fact is that she's now friends with these girls, it's all in color. And she's not, well, you know, because there, there are times where, like, because Chino makes the same cute faces as always, and she's so fucking adorable. But still, it's cute. <laughs> Of course, because that's typically with kids. You get bored eventually, and then you're like, let's play something else. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait. Why don't we also ask an adult to help you guys? Because, I mean, since... Cocoa is not great with direction. Huh? But Chino had the answer! Hello? Is it weird that I want to live in this town? Because it's just so freaking beautiful. Oh my god, look at him! Wow! 
What the hell? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but still. I don't know why I'm not like the friend JoJo. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna probably- Well, because since episode 11 didn't do the ending, I don't think episode 12 will either. Oh my god, that means episode 10 was the last time I saw my cute children dance! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm still trying to find that song on, like, Apple Music, and I can't. I found, I think, either this, the second opening, or the opening from season 1, and I, like, immediately downloaded it. You should you should have did that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch it be another map. So? <laughs> yeah, you guys keep going. You guys are worse than Raina. I mean, seriously. And one of y'all is Nico, which is Raina. Honestly, this doesn't feel like the last episode, but I think, okay, around the time when this show came out, and when season two came out, and you're just like, oh my god, this is possibly the last season ever. We may not ever get a season three. I mean, I can't imagine how some of you possibly felt watching this last episode and feeling possibly bittersweet, and then getting that sigh of relief when, like, season three was announced. 
I mean, because even with OVAs, like, it's still something, but at the same time, it's like, no, I want another, like, 12 or 20 episodes of the show, because it's like, there's so much more that you could possibly tell with these girls, or really any anime in general. But that's you! Coco. But honey, you are mature in your own life. <laughs> no, probably not. Oh my god. True. <laughs> it was probably very quiet before Gino. <laughs> Not Gino. Coco came. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, away! Here's my girl. <laughs> Even if she don't got a speaking role, it's okay. Fine. You'll be able to clear it this time, I hope. <gasps> oh my god, her mom's so pretty. Can we just have an OVA all about Mocha, please? Because Mocha reminds me of one of my other favorite characters from Slow Start. The, um, it was the older sister of one of the characters. And I loved her so freaking much. <laughs> I feel like watching Slow Start again. Oh my god, I miss that show. Such a good show, but hella underrated. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. So final thoughts on this series overall until season three. I really love this. Even though I was going to do final thoughts in the OVA, I'm going to do it now. But I really loved this show. It's really, really good. And if I think, if I had to watch this when this show was actually airing, I think it would have been so much better for me. But I'm so glad I was able to watch season one and season two for you guys or with you guys if it was your first time watching this and you got to see it every single week with me. Or you probably went ahead and binged the whole entire series and then just waited to see my reaction on everything. But I really loved this show. Things that I'm kind of hoping for season three, I would love to see Mocha a lot more. Um, maybe an episode that could be about Aoyama just because, you know, Aoyama is my best girl. Mocha is kind of really my second best. And I mean, I, I would love it if just Mocha moved to the town. I think it would be so cool. She could get her own place. And still have an extra room for Kokoa and Chino and everybody else to come and visit her and everything. Having, you know, it, it's so weird. Having freaking Darkness, Uraraka, uh, Best Girl Kaede, <laughs> Sorami, um, freaking Ronko, Ritsu from k -On, All these different actors that I never really would have thought have been in a show together. And this was it. I was just like, oh my god. Like, dang, I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> I have more to say, but I'm late. So pretty. That is Kayane talking to Ronko and be like, yes, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my baby. So cute. Oh, my God. You just want to hug her and cuddle her. I might have to get this show on Blu-ray. I mean, ugh. <laughs> oh my god, that was so freaking cute. Oh my god, look at everybody. They look so adorable. Oh my god. Yeah, deadass. I'm gonna have to buy the show on, like, on Blu-ray. I mean, because see, the thing is, I think the company um, that dubs it here in America, they only really do it in Blu-ray because uh, I think it's the same people that did... Um, they didn't dub Bang, Bang Dream. They didn't dub season one of Bang Dream. And I kind of hope that they possibly do. But then at the same time, no. Because I want them to go ahead and make deliveries for season two and season three. Since season three of Bang Dream is next month. And I'm so excited about it. But, I mean, I really enjoyed this. And honestly, I think it's a really good series that I kind of want to have. And I can rewatch whenever. Even though I have, like, an app on my Fire Stick that I can just instantly rewatch whatever anime that I want to watch in ish. But... Just having it, because, like, I, I bought Chivalry of a Failed Night, and everybody knows how much I love the crap out of that anime after I did a reaction on it. And it's just one of the good, like, amazing, underrated best series that I've ever seen. So, yeah, I I will miss this. Even though we still have the OVAs, I will still miss the crap out of the show. The show's not entirely over for me. I still have the OVAs, despite however long they're going to be um, when I film them, possibly on Thursday, because it's, like, kind of really me Thursday Friday are the only two days that I can be able to film really more of Thursday because um Friday is my mom's birthday and I'm also going no yeah Thursday hold on let me check I can't check my phone's over there 
whenever the 13th is, and I think the 13th is on Friday. Yeah, the 13th is on Friday, because the, um, the 12th is on Thursday. And, of course, I can't watch it on Friday, because not only is it my mom's birthday, I'm actually going out with her and one of her friends to a, one of my mom's friend's, uh, party for her child, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the only day I could watch it is freaking Thursday, but I think the best moment of this show, <laughs> there, there's so many freaking moments that I can't remember. I think when they went to the hot springs, or like, they were at the pool and everything, that was adorable. Um, anything with Aoyama, because best girl, anything with Shadow, because also best girl, because, I mean, come on, I'm hoping for season three, Shadow literally tells Lise how she feels about her, because we all know Shadow is in love with Liz, and we just need it to happen. Um, hmm, trying to think. Uh, learning about Tippy. I really liked learning about him, especially with the fact is that I, I was like, okay, this is a rabbit that can talk. And then next thing you know, we're finding out that's, that's the grandfather. And I was like, wait, what? And I couldn't believe it at first. It was like, are you serious? <laughs> or even them going camping, like anything that happened in this whole entire series or really the best moment will always be when Chino got drunk on the freaking chocolate infused with alcohol. That was the most adorable moment of the damn show. I'm sorry. Like, come on, man. Name any moment that Chino did. Anything Chino did was fucking adorable. And you're just like, oh my God, my freaking heart. Like, I can't. She's just so goddamn cute. And I have to love her and cuddle her. I mean, the relationship between both Cocoa and Chino is, at first, I, I was like, iffy. Because of the fact is, I really thought that Chino was not going to like Kokoa. Because Kokoa is very loud and out there. And Chino, Chino's kind of like me. I'm very quiet into myself. But like slowly but surely within this show, um, Kokoa bought Chino out of her comfort zone. Same thing with Mayo Omegu. I mean, I would love to still kind of see maybe for th season three or if they get another um, OVA later on. Like a flashback episode especially. I mean, you gave me a little bit with this episode, especially like how um Chino was before she met my own Mega. But I would like to just see a little more on this three and especially, you know, way before Cocoa came. Like everybody else, like how the town was essentially before Cocoa, like the main character of this dang show. Well really everybody's the main character of this dang show. Before Cocoa came in and stuff. But still I want my best girls to all hang out. I want freaking Mocha and best girl Aoyama to like literally hang out. To have Darkness and best girl Kayede from Idolmaster and any other voice, I mean, character that's around me has freaking voice <laughs> however long that I've watched her in any anime that I've seen. Literally, I need them to hang out. That's like the biggest thing that I want for season three. Like, God dang it. Like, that, like no, technically, you have Darkness and Kayede hanging out because you know why? They're both in Isekai Quartet because freaking Sarami plays Victoria from Saga Italian Evil. So bam, they've been together for almost a year and they've been hanging out. They haven't really had like best friend moments in that show, so I'm kind of hoping that in season two, they get moments where they're really hanging out a lot because it's like, mm, my two best girls are updated, we're just together. That's all I really want for this thing, so I'm just saying. It'll be so nice. I don't know what else I really want for season three. I mean, they could literally do anything. I would like to see them possibly travel again. That would be really awesome. Maybe travel to an, um, another town, maybe to another country, possibly just to go on vacation, like a longer vacation. They could go to a water park. I don't know. They could go anywhere. Let them let them be like Kayon and just say, hey, we're going to go to London. Bam. There you go. We can end the show like that. Go to London and then continue it in the movie. <laughs> if, oh my god, if this show... <laughs> I mean, well, the OVAs are essentially movies in a way, so I mean, so yeah, that's technically already happened, but still, I mean, it would have been nice to have, like, and they could still do it, maybe sometime after season three. I literally would love to see an hour and 30 minute movie. <laughs> of these girls just doing something going somewhere i don't know where i don't care where i just want to see more of these girls despite the fact is yes i gotta watch the ova and yes i got season two whenever the hell that's coming next year but to just see these girls in something that's longer than an hour or maybe i mean you can't no, 
not many anime movies are like two hours or some two hour anime movies but still an hour and 30 minutes or 45 minutes i would love it i would watch it i'll do a reaction on it but if it came out in theaters like <laughs> at my movie theater i'd be like no i'm just gonna go see it <laughs> i know people will probably be mad but like no don't go see it like wait until it comes out and then do a reaction because that was the ish for fate because I didn't get to go see the fate movies and I was like, okay, we're just gonna do a reaction on it. And everybody was so excited. They're like, oh my god, you're finally doing it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and torture myself with this damn series. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards really the series of Is the Rabbit, both season one and season two. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Tuesday for either it once I find, I mean, not next Tuesday, next Wednesday. Um, when I find out how long the OVAs are, if I can get both OVAs in one video, we'll do that. If I can't, I will still record both on Thursday, but I'll have one come out uh, next Wednesday and then the other one will come out on the following Wednesday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.